Good morning everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. Um, I am on my way to the Goodwill. <laughs> Do I need to go to Goodwill? No. Do I need anything from Goodwill? No. <laughs> But I want to go to Goodwill. I uh, no, actually I do need something. Um, let me see, which way am I going to take? Mm, right, let's go right. I bought um, pillow covers. There are velvet. I got two that are dark green and two that are light green. And I forgot I got rid of all of my pillow inserts in my last declutter. <laughs> So I need pillow inserts and I figured, you know what, why buy brand new? I can just go buy really ugly pillows at Goodwill and what I'll do is that if they have removable covers, I'll remove the covers, I'll wash the inserts and use those. And if I can't remove the covers, I'll just wash the pillows and use those and put my new covers on it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it sounds silly, but... I want to go to Goodwill. I actually am looking for um, Christmas decor. Um, I'm about to do the mantle today. That's what I'm doing for decoration. And then after that, I'll do another video to finish the um, dining room. So that'll be two Vlogmas. And just to give you a heads up, on the 20th, which is um, Thursday, I'm starting my vacation, my winter vacation. And I'm actually off for two and a half weeks because this girl here doesn't take time off ever. <laughs> so I still have 30 something days worth of sick time, um, actually a little bit over. And with my company, I can keep 30 days carryover of sick time, which is really great. But everything that's over that, I'm going to lose in January. So I'm taking all of my vacation time before I lose it and that's about uh, let me see that's two weeks so I'm gone 19th is my last day and I'm not coming back until the 7th <laughs> so I'm going to quilt I'm going to clean I'm going to organize I'm going to do a ton of stuff um, and it's going to be great <laughs> I can't wait to be on vacation um, so anyway this is what's happening Christmas shopping is almost done. I have to tell you, I did everything online this year. I did not buy a single thing in the stores. It's easier that way. So I set, you know, I set money aside on um, one of the savings account that we have, and that's the account I'm using for all of the Christmas shopping. So that's out of the way. I still have a few things for William, and that's it and because the Ohio family is done Edward is done Scott is done um, who else I have to find stuff for my office uh, but that I'll, I'll find sometimes during the week so on the 19th when it's my last day I'm gonna get everybody a little um, gift everybody the same you know uh, with a little Christmas card and then I'll go on my merry way and on vacation <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway, mom can't come this year. She's uh, She's got some stuff to do with her estate there and she's just very tired. She says that, you know what, if I'm gonna come, I wanna be able to enjoy longer days and I can't say I blame her. Um, it's, it's just dreary here in the winter. Um, you know, it's dark at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you know, you, you just um, you just don't have a lot of fun in the winter. So she wants to come in April, maybe June. We'll see. Um, and I'm not going because we said I was going to go in February or March, but she says no, don't come. I still have stuff to do, so not going. Ask me down below if you have questions. I'll do a Q and A. Um, you know, here and there. So the plan for Vlogmas, I have two more decor. After that, I'm gonna be on vacation, so I'll do some shopping, I'll take you around. Um, our friend is spending the holidays with us for Christmas Eve, and then that's it. I thought that maybe Scott's parents were gonna come for Christmas and New Year's Eve, but they canceled that. Uh, so they're gonna come probably mid-January or 
February for William's birthday. We'll see that. Uh, we'll see about that. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. There's nothing much going on. Um, the house is a mess right now, the first floor, because I still have the boxes from Christmas decor. Can't wait to get it out of the way. And I have to tell you, by the way, the rug, what a difference. I rewashed it again um, because the first time it cleaned it, but then the smell came back afterwards. So I rewashed it and amazing. It's, it doesn't have any smell right now, which is great. So that's what's going on. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I'm trying to get to Goodwill from uh, this area and go on 46, but I'm trying to avoid the mall traffic. And then this afternoon at 6.15, I have the boys getting their portraits for Christmas. So tonight I'm going to, I'm getting the CD. So tonight I'm gonna um, clean up the photos a little bit. And I have to prepare the Christmas cards and I have to send them to either, um, I did CVS last year, I didn't like the print at all. So I'm gonna do Walgreens this year and I'm gonna get the pictures uh, printed. So I have time to send them for everybody to get them um, on time for the holidays. So that's what's going on. I will see you at the Goodwill. Okay, so what did I get at Goodwill? I found this velvet one that's beige and I'm gonna keep it as is, but I'm gonna wash it. And then I got two relatively ugly pillows, kind of like dental office type pillows. And those are gonna get washed and I'm going to cover them with the new pillowcases that I have. Those I can't remove the cover, so obviously they're just gonna go like this. So all three of those are gonna get washed. And then for Christmas decor, I found something really, really cute. It's cheap, it was half price because it's a green ticket today. And the price was $3.99, so I got it for two bucks. And it's this little um, three panel mini room divider. So that's gonna go on the buffet in the dining room. I really like it. I have snowmen, if you remember, that look like this. Um, same design, same color, so that's gonna look cute together. You'll probably see me declutter that stuff two years down the road, that's okay. And then I got this little box that was also on a green ticket and this was 99 cents. Uh, it's a little wooden box. It says Joy on it. I'm probably gonna display it in a way where it doesn't see or show the joy and then you saw me pick up that little angel I just spent half an hour at the Goodwill trying to find a second one just in case they came in pairs but it didn't so this is silver obviously I'm gonna have to polish it when I go home and this one was uh, $4.99 so I think it's really really cute I have to find the right candle for it um, I have no idea who makes it but it's let me see there's a maiden uh, this is either made in China or made in India, China. Uh, but it's silver plate, and I think it's just darling. Really, really cute. Okay, so you all know I have no business going to Goodwill, but I did. Um, 
you know, I'm just, I just wanted to find some cute stuff. I don't care. I mean, really, it's not a big deal. Um, it's going to look good as a decor. And, man, I'm all fogged up. I can't see anything. Um, and I think it's really pretty. The angel is really cute. I wish they had a second one. So I could do a pair, but nope. All right. It's uh, 12.30. <laughs> I need to go home and start working on the course. So what I'm going to do is, um, Debbie, you're going to like that. You know the little houses that you made for me three years ago? They were like the 12 days of Christmas. I'm going to put them in the dining room this year and I'm going to uh, put them as a garland. Um, so I think it's going to look cute. I still have to find a space for the nativity scene. Uh, I don't want to put it on the um, coffee table because the beagle will eat them. <laughs> he will. So I can do that. So I gotta figure out a place for it. Okay, I'm back home and I have to have all of the electric lights on because it's really dark right now because it's raining outside. So here's my buffet. And I've decided that I am going to do the buffet today. And in the next video, I'll do the mantle um, in the um, living room over there. So let me pull out all the stuff that I have and decide what I'm going to do. I don't want to put too much, but you know me, I say that and then it ends up being uh, an over the top decor. Okay, so, so this is everything that I have that is somewhat, well, pretty much matching the same type of decor so what I really want to do and I just talked about that is this year I want to take um, Debbie's little 12 days of Christmas houses and I want to put them up like this um, probably with this red wreath uh, or garland whatever that is and and just have them dangling like this I'm gonna start with the top I'm gonna do that first see how it looks and then I'll put the rest but you see what I mean how my little snowman match the ones that are here so I think that's gonna be really really cute once I put it together I think I need to can you see yeah I think I need to move this one up so this can be let's not fall this can go A little bit more like a swag yes like this all right and these These are adorable. Um, Debbie made them for me. She made the box and everything. I'll put a channel down below. She hasn't done a lot of videos, but if you remember when I did um, the last 30 bags in 30 days, she participated. And they're basically the 12 days of Christmas, but each one is a little house. So here's the turtle dove, and each one is entirely made out of paper, and they have a little tag on it, and of course, you get the number, right? So let me install this. I gotta figure out a way to, oh yeah, great. These are metal so I can bend them. Okay, so uh, I need 12. So one and 12, two and 11, three and 10, four and nine, five and eight, six, and seven. Okay, so I'm gonna do, let's do six in the middle. Let's start like this. Oh 
Debbie, what talent you have. Look at this. I love it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, let me give you a close up on all these little houses. Okay, so here we go. So you got a portrait in a pear tree, the two turtle dove, the three French hen, uh, four, I can't remember, random lyrics, random lyrics, uh, five golden ring, six gusseling, uh, seven swan, I can't remember. <laughs> this is, which one is that? Eight, uh, milk something, nine, I can't remember. <laughs> I should have been prepared, right? Uh, 10 something dancing and uh, 11 um, piper piping, I'm not sure. And then uh, the 12 is right here. Okay, so you guys know the song better than I do. It's hard for me to get the uh, English lyrics for all these songs because, you know, second language and we didn't uh, grow up with that. So this is what it looks like. And I like it. So now bottom, what am I going to do at the bottom? Okay, bottom, I gotta tell you, I really like this. <laughs> so, this is gonna go right here in the middle. I am so glad I got this. This looks really, really neat. It's cheap, it's, you know what, there's a sticker in the back, it's from uh, the Christmas tree shop. Uh, but that's all right, you know? Um, so I really like it this way. So we're gonna put it here, and then I have my two snowmen. So we got snowman number one. I can either have them in the front here or on either side. Let's put them on either side. Okay. Right. And what do I put in the middle? I really don't want to put too much. See, look, there's an empty space right here. Sophia managed an empty space. So this is uh, the display on the buffet. And that's all I'm keeping. So. I have my antique swan with its reef that was, um, where was it? You guys remember? Oh, the uh, Presbyterian thrift shop, I paid $3.99 for it. And then these were a Goodwill challenge years ago. By the way, this is going to be part of my Goodwill challenge for this year, but I'm not posting it on the playlist because um, that was under $5. So these, I got those three little boxes here. You remember that was the... Christmas Goodwill Challenge from last year or two years ago. All right, so, and then these, I can't remember where I got them, but I think I got them at King's Supermarket because they have uh, new ones every year. And I don't know if you can see, but they have a little bit of glitter. They're pretty cute. And then these guys here, I got a Christmas tree shop something like five or six years ago. Really like these two guys. And I should go back and see if they have more. Um, so, yeah, I really like those. Now, the little box that I found at Goodwill today, the one that says Joy, I put, I left it open, right, and I put some foliage from a, uh, um, a busted reef that I had, um, so this is plastic and, you know, whatever, uh, so I'm putting it here because I needed something to fill up the space but not go over that panel, so here's the panel, I washed it, um, I remember I paid two bucks for it, right, and then this is my can't remember the sculptor, but that's somebody who's somewhat kind of famous. And um, it's a little reindeer and Santa sleigh pendulum. And that, again, I've had for ages. Um, I think I got it for Edward's first Christmas, so it's about 16 years old. Uh, and then I have Debbie's 12 Days of Christmas houses right there. So let me show you from far away. I kind of like it this year. It's totally different from last year. It's much less for sure. Right, and from far away, this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn down the lights, and you know what? I just realized I do need some kind of candle, don't I? Uh, something. Um, I'll figure it out. Maybe I can put the angel, but I have to clean it. Uh, but yeah, I like this. Let me see. I'm going to clean the angel and see if I can put it there. How it's going to look. Eh, nah, it's not the same type of decor. Um, he would look quite lonely here. So we'll pass on the angel. I still have to clean it. I'm probably going to put him or her on the mantle. But yeah. So that is it. That's uh, Vlogmas number hmm, four? I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? Maybe I don't need to keep the uh, uh, Easter <laughs> uh, cross over there. Um, but 
nah, yeah, I'll keep it because it's got some memories attached to it. So anyway, this is my mantle in the dining room. I still didn't do the dining room table. I'll do that uh, probably around the holidays uh, next week because I don't want to put anything on it now. Let me see if I dim the light a little bit because otherwise we're going to push it pretty much every night. There we go. I like it. I think it looks really, really neat. It's totally different from what I've done in years past, but I have to tell you, this little panel is super, super cute. Super cute. Okay, that's it. I have to learn to shop my house. <laughs> I forgot I had this Christmas looking uh, sleeve for one of my candles. So I said I wanted to have a little bit of glow on here. So there you go. I have glow. Um, I like this very, very much. I may actually redo it next year. Tell me down below what you think. And that would be it for this Vlogmas. It's the weirdest thing. I really like this thing. I really do. I think it's the cutest thing. Um, so tell me down below what you think. Do you guys like um, the display this year on the uh, buffet? It's totally different from previous year. Um, it's not as grandiose. And remember I had the reindeer and the fake snow and all the silver and stuff. Uh, this is kind of, uh, well, it's that primitive look that I really like. Um, so thank you, Debbie, again for your 12 Days of Christmas houses. Um, I will never part with them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love those little birdies. I have to go to King's and see if they have new ones for this year because that'd be pretty cool to have a little bit more. And I actually do like this. It doesn't look like much. Um, I put one of those little wooden thing. And again, that was part of a reef that I just don't use. Um, so I just pulled them off the reef and uh, disassembled it basically. Oh, you see, you hear that? That's Santa. Hey, Willie! That's Santa distributing candy on the street. I better get the kids. Um, thank you for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video. That would be Vlogmas number, can't remember. And so I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, wait, there's more. Um, I have a disease. It's called Sophia can't leave an empty spot empty. It was really bothering me. I was having a cup of coffee in the kitchen and I figured, but wait a second, if I remove this, I have room for the nativity scene. <laughs> so that's exactly where I'm going to put it. Let me pull it out. Okay, so if you remember uh, two years ago, because last year I couldn't find it, right? So two years ago, I had it with snow and stuff. So guess what? I'm gonna remove the snow. Even though the snowman, um, because it just doesn't fit that decor anymore. Look at that. I even put little snow on the windows. Like, really? <laughs> hey, on the doors. Oh, man. <laughs> I went all the way. Um, so I'm going to remove all of this. Because I don't want the snow. I want bare wood. I think it looks much better especially with this now I had um, one of those filament light in it and didn't work um, and then I so that don't leave the battery in your stuff it's all corroded so I'm gonna have to get a new set of those um, yeah they don't work okay they're cheap enough all right so Put the church right here. This is a bird cage that mom and I found. We were looking for uh, something to do an activity scene with. So we saw this years ago, mom and I, probably, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And we said, perfect, we're gonna use that. So let me pull out my little figurines and I'm going to assemble my nativity scene. Now the family has two and uh, if, you know the channel, you've seen it before. I don't need that. Um, they are clay and they are hand painted. They are by a brand called Carbonell and they still exist. Um, here are the Three Kings. They're not here yet. They come on the Epiphany. Um, but let me show you. I'm not going to show them all to you, but this is what they look like. So they're hand painted uh, by a brand called Carbonell. And um, they're quite something else. And that's basically what most French people would have that. So when I was a kid, we used to put the three kings in the back. And then we used to put baby Jesus in the back too, because uh, he's not born yet, right? 
but we have a whole bunch of little figurines. So the goal is to create like a little village. And there's some people, they're from south of France, so it's from Provence. Um, there's some people who have complete sets and they come up with new ones every year. And some of them, like this guy with the pumpkin is um, a regular that pretty much most people have. So some of them, they just recreate um, and everybody has them. But it's supposed to be a village in south of France, in Provence, that depicts um, the birth of Christ. And that's basically what everybody has over there. Now granted, I haven't been, I haven't spent a Christmas in France since 1998, I think. Um, so they may have something else now, I don't know. But I know that they still do those, so I know people still collect them. This is one of my favorites. This is one of the little village priests. And usually I have him at the door welcoming everybody in. Um, but there's some folks that have hundreds. Here's BB Jesus. You go in the back. Because we're not ready for you. Um, they have hundreds of them. And then they have them in very tall figurines. And those have uh, clothes on them. Uh, Provencal um, type clothing. Here's the angel. I don't have a lot. And this is actually the second one that we purchased um, when we moved to south of France. The original one my sister has, and that's the one that she used to have um, when she was born until I came along and we moved to south of France. That one so was purchased at that time. So this one is from, when did we move? 78? So this one is from 1978. Here's my nativity. So on the 25th, I'll have William put baby Jesus right there in the middle. And then when the epiphany comes, I'll pull out the three kings. They are still on their journey. So that is it. I found a spot for it and it's perfect. It does go with the decor. So, yep. Okay, I'm done. Keep See you later. Bye. Going, this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just